from hosannas in the highest to crucify him this holiest of weeks helps us to enter into the great truth of salvation history that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gave his very life for our salvation and rose from the dead as we prepare for the Easter glory. We hear in today's first gospel that we proclaimed in the courtyard from the prophet Zechariah. He says, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass and on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. This is a part of ancient Israel's story as Jesus is entering into Jerusalem as the king. It would have reflected David and his son Solomon, who is coordinated as king, riding into Jerusalem himself on a colt, on a donkey. A royal connotation, an act of humility and meekness in serving the people faithfully through the grace of God. And we hear today that they threw cloaks before Jesus. This reflecting Second Kings when men threw their cloaks off as a sign of submission to the king. And they cut branches, the branches that we hold today and the palm branches, reflects back to Maccabees and a sign of victory in defending God through war. And we would see in Psalm 118 a crying out, Hosanna to the Son of David, Hosanna to the King. This strong royal greeting reflects the life of a king entering into Jerusalem. How is it then that the cries go from Hosanna to the King to crucify Him? This day as we reflect, as we begin in the holiest of week, we realize that we have a King, but the the Jewish people at the time wanted that King to conquer the Romans. It was a Jewish establishment that Jesus was cleansing as they made the holy temple into a den of thieves. They have fallen into a Jewish nationalism, if you will, loving a patriotic zeal over God himself and God's will for their lives instead of a great love for Jesus, Christ the King of the universe. And so we cry out, Hosanna in the highest to our King, and we also cry out, crucify him. This Holy Week gives us an opportunity to continue to journey as a pilgrim people in faith, to continue to rend our own hearts. And if we're really probably true with ourselves, our lives, our words, our actions, our thoughts, probably many times cry out Hosanna to the King, to Jesus Christ our Savior. But truly, we can also say that sometimes our thoughts, our words, our actions may say, crucify him. The Lord wants to crucify anything that is not of him in our own lives. And so this week presents us with an opportunity to dive deeper into relationship, into divine intimacy with the one who gave all for our eternal salvation. And so as we enter into this holiest of weeks and we reflect on the great gift that God himself has given us for our eternal salvation, may our lives cry out at the highest level, Hosanna to Christ our King.